Hello, I'm Valerie from the Hollywood Times. I'm the senior editor, and I want to thank you for being on. And I'm going to have you uh, uh, introduce yourself. I know we're talking about your film, and um, it's a dark story of a family um, torn apart by death and their difficulty resolving their feelings. Um, I know AI was used in this film, and we will post a spoiler alert. So go ahead, Chris, talk about yourself a little bit. Yeah, um, thank you for having me on, firstly. Um, and it's great to talk to you today. Uh, yeah, my name's Chris Overton. I'm a director and um, I uh, own a production company called Slick Films. And uh, we, we try and make films with a social conscience. And uh, we've been doing that ever since our debut short film, The Silent Child, which uh, won the Academy Award uh, a few years ago now. Love it. Love it so much. Um, I know the use of AI makes me wonder if the couple in the film had ever even had a daughter at all. Um, if so, you know, did she die? You know, if the story is based in fact or fiction and how much of AI was used in the film? Yeah, well, it, it, is, a, it is a story of fiction, but I think it's one that could absolutely happen today. Um, I think... I first read the script in 2020 and I think I remember reading it and it just blew me away but I I just thought oh wow well this this is something that could happen years down the line and then obviously skip to 2023 right in the middle of the writer's strike and the development the fast development of AI technology this is definitely happening this kind of story is is definitely happening um so yeah, there there is quite a, a bit of uh, AI. It's 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 hard to talk about it um, in this environment because if I do, I will I will spoil the film. So saying that there's AI in the film is still a spoiler, but it's not uh, it's not a full spoiler. Right. Um, the couple is strange because of their inability to to deal with death of the daughter. Um, he seems to have a bigger problem. Um, can you? I know there's not a lot we can talk about because of the spoiler, you know. Mm. But you're what, right in the fact that um, they're two parents dealing with grief very differently. One is dealing with grief in a more conventional way. Carol, the mother, played by Rachel Shenton, she's dealing with it like most parents do, you know, uh, trying to have marriage counselling and, and grief counselling. And Ben is dealing with something uh, called complicated grief, uh, which is a much, much deeper sense of grief that really does, you know, uh, it's very debilitating. It's, you, you know, when if you have complicated grief, it, it really s kind of stops you in your tracks of doing anything and you just can't let go of the past. Um, so, um, <laughs> yes, it's difficult to say yeah. too much more than that, but... He, he can't let go of the past and I mean look the, the log line is 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 public uh Ben a grieving father goes to extreme measures to relive those memories of his daughter so I guess the only question mark is what are those extreme measures we know it's AI um but you'll have to watch the film to to see to see what that is right the husband kidnapping the little girl who resembles who resembles his dead daughter. Um, it is is that who the wife finds in the daughter's bedroom at the end? Yes. Yeah, so okay. um, yeah, again, uh, we're just we're just giving all the spoilers away, aren't we? But yeah, yeah if we're gonna if we're gonna go there, uh, it. it he has kidnapped uh, another girl that looks like his daughter. His their daughter is dead, um, so yes, he kidnaps right. another child. Right, it's a woman who the wife meets on the street, a grief counselor. Is the mother's carrying, you know, the carrying the decorations for the daughter's eighth birthday? And so yeah, yeah, okay, that's just for my edification for for me when I'm writing. Yeah. No, so, sorry. That that's just a, a friend, really. Just and that the point of that scene is to show uh, the role of Carol in in society and and how she's kind of just away with the fairies. You know, she's not really present, doesn't want to engage, but at least you can see that she's 
you know, a few steps ahead of Ben. Ben's at home, just consumed in his own environment. You know, when he does go out, you see how difficult that is for him. Um, and you see how he thinks he sees his daughter on a bus, but doesn't. Um, but yeah, Carol sees a, sees a friend, but you can see that she, she just wants to get away very quickly. Yeah. She releases the balloon and enters the house. Does does she feel you feel like she senses that her husband has lost it, is losing it in his head? Yeah, yeah. I mean, of course, I think I think the moment, uh, I think the moment that happens is when you know she hears that's well, she hears the scream coming from another room. Um, but before that, I think when she releases the balloon and it's it's the shock of what she's seen on television. Sure. Yeah. Are are you what so what are you working on now? Uh well, um Slick Films produces a lot of short films. So we have a, a large slate of short films. So um I'm an exec producer on on a lot of them alongside uh, Rebecca Harris Turner, who you spoke to recently, yes. and uh, and Rachel Shenton, who's a you know company director, um, and we're all working towards our, our debut feature, which I, I can't say too much about right now, but it's going very well, and all being well, we might be on set this time next year of our debut feature, and that's that's been a long time coming, yeah. Good, good. Well, thank you. Now I can put my article out on In Too Deep, and I just, I just want to, again, thank you for your time. And uh, now you can turn your computer off. Okay, <laughs> I know we yeah. were talking before, before you know, we went on air. That that you know, it's it's different time zone there. So I just again yeah. want to take take the time to say the Hollywood Times appreciates your time um with us today thank you, thank um, you. really appreciate it Cheers. And that i appreciate you. slick films and all that you guys are doing to include the hollywood times dot today and our um our youtube channel the hollywood times official so it's a nice little partnership right yes thank you very much great cool. Cheers. all right hope to meet you in person sometime all right bye-bye thanks Chris. Bye.